Welcome to Guide for the Kill. This week we're going to be discussing Know Your Role. There's essentially three different types of roles we're going to be discussing here today. Uh, aileron roles and how that looks a little bit different in space combat games like Elite Dangerous versus a, a flight air combat game. The barrel roll and the corkscrew, which um, I'll get into what kind of the difference between an aileron roll the corkscrew is. Because uh, some people call a corkscrew a tight barrel roll, but that's not exactly the case. And then we'll be discussing when you implement it, uh, implement those tactics. Well, when you implement the tactics, you really have to consider two things. First, is a defensive maneuver. A barrel roll um, can be an offensive maneuver. We'll go into that in a minute, but only in air combat. Typically, a roll is defensive maneuver. So in this case, since I painted the ships, the white ship's the good guy. The black ship or the brown, darker colored ship is the bad guy. Um, because, you know, we have to follow tropes on this uh, podcast, video thing, whatever it is called. So it's a purely defensive maneuver. It's best utilized when the target is very, very close, you know, basically on your six. And if you do an aileron roll, this is essentially that maneuver. You just go kind of around in circles, more or less in place. Now, in an atmospheric combat game, you're going to get a little bit of a kind of a little bit of a corkscrew there just due to aerodynamic forces. It's not going to be a perfect go like this. Now, in a space combat game, if you just roll, this is pretty much what it looks like. And in a game like War Thunder, you know, or DCS World or Falcon BMS, they're firing guns, you go into an aileron roll, and hopefully that's enough because, you know, look right here, I'm at a 90 degree angle, his guns are most likely going to go through me. So it's a very good thing to kind of keep them off balance and a little bit of things. Now if you add a little bit of yaw into that, whether you're in atmospheric or, you know, due to atmospheric pressures or in a... Um, space combat game and you add some yaw to the thing, it essentially then becomes the corkscrew maneuver, which you basically go around in a looping circle like so. Probably not the best demonstration of it. And again, it's a defensive maneuver for when they're very close on your six. You can basically circle around, as I kind of move here, you can circle around them and it's very difficult since you're moving in a couple of different dimensions it's very difficult for them to then vertically or laterally get um, basically shots on so you know you're going kind of going around in a circle however if you extend this out and you're trying to do this little corkscrew maneuver you know it's very easy for this guy you know, you're doing your corkscrew around the circles and up like that. He just kind of has to move his nose to follow you. Look at the Conway kill video in Way to the Kill, uh, the Conway episode, and you'll see all I do is I just extend it back to where I'm at maximum range and just sit there and take pot shots at him fairly accurately. So it's a close range maneuver. Now, the barrel roll looks something more like this. You will actually physically pull up you know, notice how the orientation of the plane or spacecraft changes. And the goal is to wind up on the person six. Again, he is in a favorable position on your six. So you pull up, go around, and then you wind up on his six. That's the point of a barrel roll in combat maneuvering. Um, notes that's a little bit different than last week's where you know, I'm in a desperate situation, hopefully nose up to bleed air speed and then roll around. In this case, I'm bleeding air speed and I'm rolling and then dropping my nose more or less instantaneously. It's not really a barrel roll. A barrel roll, you're trying to maneuver to get back on a six. And whenever you barrel roll and the other person then catches you and is far enough away and does a barrel roll, that's when you wind up in scissors. So rolls. Great ideas for um, when a target is close to you. Now something you can do in a space combat game is if you do a barrel roll 
and they kind of come. When you get to about this position, hit the brakes, extend that on out, get behind them, and then you can either just flip around or it does pretty much the same thing. Hit the brakes, reverse thrust, they go past you. Um, but again, you've got to be very careful anytime you pull up in a space game because if they are far enough behind you, they're going to maneuver to counter and, well, you know, that's what they can do that you can't do in a space combat game is keep your nose on you. So that's kind of an inherent risk. Typically, if you're going to do it in a space combat game, you're going to slide out. If you have six degrees of or six axes control, you're going to want to slide out before starting the roll to go up and then around. So in space combat, it's going to really look more like this um, type maneuver or even, uh, you know, even something like this uh, to do almost a reverse barrel roll um, or a barrel roll in reverse to get behind them. So know your rolls, know when to use them, know when to use them or <laughs> know when to lose them. If they're below 500, you can risk it, ideally below 350 or less in Elite Dangerous. I'm not sure how those distances are going to work out in Star Citizen for sure until they kind of refine their flight model a little bit more. And then the other big major factor is it also largely depends on what you're flying. You know, Eagle, you probably want to wait until if it's an Eagle versus a Cobra and you're in the Eagle, you probably want to wait for them to get, you know, right up there and then whoop, I'm now on your six. You know, let's do that again. Whoop. <laughs> Sorry. Whoop. I'm now on your six before you even knew it. And now I'm shooting you. Um, so you also have to take those into account. But, uh, you know, if he's 1,500 behind you, you better not roll. Um, you better choose something else. Now, you can do a little bit, of again, of the aileron roll once or twice. You know, don't do it continuously. And just enough to kind of offset a shooting. Maybe you want to do it once, and then, you know, maybe you roll out laterally and then do it in another direction, something like that. you got to keep them guessing, you know. That, that's the art of jinking. So thank you very much for watching the videos. If you find it very useful, um, give me more feedback on cameras and things like that, what I can do better to improve that. Um, I might buy a new round of cameras and stuff like that that are a little bit better quality and wide angle. Uh, they'll get better than a VGA picture, but um, you know, feedback on camera angles and what I'm doing, if I'm, if it's making sense, anything like that. And if you like it, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, share it abundantly with all your friends, um, and stay tuned because we'll be doing this more next week. Thank you very much. See you next time.